Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Interview of the Man, episode number 294. How to be a top 20% man. I've been jamming out to that song. Um, I That song, boys, let me tell you something. If you're with the girl and she's kind of digging you, you're kind of digging her, and you are chilling at your place, you're about to smash... You know, my seasoned players talk, you know, you know, get her back at your place. Everything's going good, right? You put on some weekend. You put on that Fifty Shades of Grey, right? You, uh, you put on, uh, oh, Harry, I got you, baby. Harry, it is Weekend Secrets, okay? Bro, you put on some weekend with these girls, the Fifty Shades of Grey song. Uh, I think it's called uh, Worth It or Earn It. And then um, the one I was just playing right there. Oh, my God. It's game over. It is game over. How's everybody doing today? Um, guys, just got to say, we got we to gotta kiss the white gold Jesus. Uh, your boy still got it. <clears throat> Can't go into too much details, but those guys who are in the Body Language Mastery Quarter 2... Um, Telegram chat, which was 100% for free, by the way. Um, they know. VIP status. Uh, I want to show you guys something. So, got some a little housekeeping, right? Good morning, good morning. Today, we're going to talk about real quick how to be a top 20% man. Um, I got to do a lot of stuff. I got to open the phone lines. I was just jamming out to that song. Guys, I'm in a really good spot right now in life, and I just want to vibe out and teach you guys as much as I can while I'm in a good headspace. Like, this is just the ultimate um, way to, like, handle this, I say, I believe, as a business. Just use my good mind state, like, uh, state of mind right now. And uh, just kind of convey m my thoughts clearly to you guys to get what you want. Let's fire up this phone line, shall we? I got a lot of cool stuff to show you. So, first things first, okay? Um, what should I start off with? Okay. The, the apartment you saw, technically, it's theoretically endangered that I may not get that apartment. Somebody has applied before me, and it is a friend of the landlord. So my real estate agent said, it's not looking too hot right now. 
Um, but the good news is it's beer bug time. So people are hard up for like, you know, they need tenants, they need money. So I have some more leverage and there, there are other places, but I just really like that place so much. If I got that place, I would be, I would do a cry stream. No, I wouldn't. But, uh, <laughs> I, I would be really, really very, very eternally grateful to the flying spaghetti monster. Whatever's out there. Whatever I have to pray to or worship to get that fucking apartment, I'll do it. Tom Bombadil, can you pray for me? Um, host pin is. To start your show now, press one. There we go. Your show will go live in <clears throat> five seconds. Four, three, two. One. Okay. Boom, 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 baby. Uh, the hot dude hotline's open. 657-383-1318. Okay, another thing. So that's one. Uh, apartment's technically in danger, but there's a lot of other apartments out there. It is uh, what it is. Okay. Uh, next up is my YouTube channel. Take a look here. Look at this. Boom. Somebody in the Hot Dude Army made this. My man, uh, Christopher, in Poland. We got the new uh, banner here. Can we make this bigger? Nope. Okay, let's just leave it right there. Uh, first things first, uh, most important thing, there's a DeLorean on here. Secondly, Dude Party, officially 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Saturday, okay? Dude Party is the way to go. Um... Post rule zero, <clears throat> 2 p.m. hard start every single Eastern Standard Time Saturday, unless I uh, mention otherwise. Hot Dude Life Instagram, follow that one for the dating expertise. Uh, Modern Life Dating Instagram, Modern Life Dating TikTok, at Dude Party is my Twitter account, a fan made Twitter account. Doesn't belong to me, it's of fans, but follow Dude Party Show on Twitter and Modern Life Dating on Facebook, okay? <clears throat> We're out here bossing these Tokyo streets looking hot at dude.com and then every 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Hit that like comment subscribe for all you new folks in the house uh, Got some like got some good news here. Look at this. We figured out we figured out some stuff We moved the stuff camera two. not okay camera two. not fantastic, but Not terrible. I think I think we're coming along here Let's just pray for the new studio, okay? Let's pray for the new studio. That's really what we need. Um, <clears throat> I've outgrown this place. It's it's time to it's time to boss up this life of mine, and um, <clears throat> I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that. So we got that going on, and then one more thing. I still have to figure out how to use this goddamn website, <clears throat> but it is about Patreon. So now I have uh, 80, hold on, let me see if I can do something. <clears throat> I have 81 patrons. No, 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 no. Well, I have one guy paying like 10 bucks a month. That doesn't really count for the coaching. Okay, here it is. Let me go. Where do I press? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> um, anyways, so uh, right there. Uh, there's there's uh, 80 people that are signed up for the monthly coaching that's going down on uh, August 9th. <clears throat> We're just going to keep pumping out content here, keep on making hot dudes, and the network's just going to grow and grow and grow. So, um, if you want to get in for the group coaching, we're going to be focusing primarily on uh, money, getting your money right. Okay, because I know how to grind up from being poor to b being not poor. I know all the ins and outs of how to manage the poverty lifestyle and then, you know, eventually uh, make the steps towards affluent, affluential, aff affluence, affluence, I think is a good one. Hey, you know what? I may not know these words, but I do know how to make money. And uh, that's really all that matters. So that's what I can teach you guys in these webinars, August 9th. Okay, August 9th. 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we are going to get going with the first webinar. So it's limited to 100 people, okay? Uh, 100 people only 
and two more people signed up from yesterday. I'm going to be sending out an email here soon enough to everybody. Um, Chris Von Eric, what's up? I'm going to mod you, buddy. Just time them out. Never, never permanently hide them, okay? Chris, I'm going to moderate you right now, buddy. Thank you for everything. Um, but yeah, August 9th, sign up. Patreon.com forward slash modern life dating. There you go. They're all going to fill out right now for sure. What is it? It's not even August yet, right? What is it? It's the 28th. Okay. Okay, so that's sorted. Anybody on the phones? No, nobody's calling in yet. Okay. 657-383-1318. What are we talking about on this channel? Make money, make muscles, learn games. Smash that like button. We got 100 in the house. Everybody's piling in. We're going to be bossing these streets quickly. Good to see everybody. Camera 2, awesome now. You like that, Peter? I'll go camera 2 just for you. Oh, where are we at? Okay, here we go. Yeah, camera 2 don't look too, too bad, right? We're coming up. We're going to get to Donovan Sharp levels here soon enough. Um, things are good. So, all right. Scott, call in, please. <laughs> Scott's always welcome to call in. Um, thank you so much, Mr. Von Eric. But, yeah. So... Phone lines are open, 657-383-1318. Um, impatient people's going to be as impatient, and they're going to leave. So it's all good. Uh, but this is going to be a bomb-ass episode. You know, it takes me time to warm up and get into it. Um, can't be Mr. I'm not Mr. Structure. Sorry. But uh, what I am is uh, Mr. Get Laid and Get Paid. So shut the fuck up and listen if you want to get those things going on. Um, we're going to talk about how to be the top 20% of men and how as everybody kind of literally like degenerately uh devolves into like basically a fat poor sexless mess right if they follow the societal um you know um the plan if you will you know what i mean nine to five all that shit so um I, oh jesus full lines just lit up Okay, uh, let me go take this quickly. We got 240 first. Uh, yo, yo. Hey, buddy, what is up, man? How you been? Hey. <laughs> How are you? You doing good? I can't even begin. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm living life, man. I can't even begin to tell you how, um, how influential that you've been. And I remember when we first started working together, you told me yeah. that you said your job is to get people to your job is to get people to understand the tenets of game and strike out on their own. Mm -hmm. And, and if, if 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 I told you how much I've improved from the first time we had a console until now, man, you wouldn't even believe me. Let's hear it. What's so funny is that when I would ask you questions. You were always, say, you know, it was always kind of vague and open-ended. I was like, well, how do I get girls? He was like, just believe that you're better than them. And I was like, come on, man. You know, like, like, give, give me some more answers. He was like, nah, I just have this, this unwavering belief that I'm better than women. <laughs> and I had an aha moment because I, w I, I went on a double date with a friend of mine in the Poconos. Mm -hmm. And what's so funny about it is that 95% of the men that were there, that were couple, right now. I mean, 95% uh, of the couples that were there. The men were all life. catering to their women. They were, you know, just right just, just and, and doing stuff that I thought was unbecoming of a man. Yeah. So that's when I had my aha moment. I said, okay, I'm going to do everything that they're not doing. And from that point until now, man, I've been I've been living a hot dude life. What's good? So you're making more money? You're just still doing securities? What's going on with that? No. Actually, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing uh, cyber security now. So, Fuck you know, yes. I left the physical stuff alone. That's a, that's a whole nother topic, but uh, I'm making, I'm, I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm doing good. I got three, three sources of income. You see what I'm saying? I'm, uh, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing great. Man, that is so good, bro. I'm so good. Look, guys, let me tell you about this guy, Mr. Mr. Reynaldo. Um, first of all, he's a great guy like me because we both play Soul Calibur. Uh, secondly... This man, I remember we used to work out a deal back in the day. It was fifty dollars a coaching session, but you called me every week for like three months almost, and um, that was crazy. And it paid off, huh? So you're you're boss and you're doing good now. To say I paid off is an understatement because, like I said, ultimately, because um, you will always talk about disbelief. 
Mm-hmm. And at the time, it was so frustrating because I'm like, man, I want to get girls. And he was like, man, forget all of that. You need to believe that you're better than them, you know, uh, uh, essentially. And like I said, when I went on that trip from that moment until then, I, I haven't looked back, man. And it's it's just so funny how I see people, you know, uh, 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 fretting over the most trivial things. And I cannot thank you enough. That's why when anybody asks me, mm-hmm. you know, who, who was the impetus, who was the catalyst for me to, to be where I'm at now, I always mention you. Man, that is so nice of you. Thank you so much. Um I'm so I'm just happy to hear from you. I think about you from time to time because you kind of fell off, and you, I didn't I didn't even see you leaving comments on uh, Instagram anymore. So I figured you must be on your grind or something. But it's really nah. Cool. I, I I still watch. I still watch. You know. I, um. I remember when I remember when you had John Fitch on the show. Yeah. I was sitting there just smiling, thinking like, man, this guy is is going like 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 you're up next. You know, don't think, don't think that's because I'm on, because I don't really, I don't really go on IG like that. But don't think I'm not on there watching, the, watching the memes, man. You're still a young meme guy. You're still Ejack and Evac. I am, baby. I am. Listen, listen, listen. If you, if you thought John Fitch was a good um, guest, bro, I've got a guest cooking right now. No, there's nothing guaranteed yet. But if this guy, I'm talking to him Thursday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I, I have a consultation and chat. And if I can get this guy on the show, oh boy, oh boy, you guys are going to be in for a treat. I can't say anything yet because it's not official, but we're going to find out uh, Friday. Friday, I'll be able to find out. Friday morning, I'll be able to tell you guys. But dude, I'm so glad that you're doing well, man. I really am because you you got a kid and everything too. You know, you're a good guy. Yeah, man, I I appreciate it, Coach. I'll tell you what, I didn't even know you was on Patreon. Mm. Please Please have you one of your mods send that send that link up in the chat, and I will definitely not only on IG but I will because I still watch the videos. I just don't comment. That's my that's uh, I apologize for that. You're cool. No, I'm no, still no, watching. So good. I've never stopped watching. Good. Yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you. So please have one of your mods put something in the chat, Coach. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go to camera two and sign you off. So, Mr. Bandercourt, you're the man. Um, <laughs> check it in. Check it in. It's Patreon. Good work, soldier. Yeah, Donovan Sharp's announced, and he says, uh, thank you so much. It looks like we gotta, we got to go back to camera one with the donation. Looks like uh, George R. donated $5. He says, hold on, i got to read that out. Uh, i got to pull up Streamlabs. Um, but, yeah, thank you guys so much. You want to click on the l- link right there, streamlabs.com forward slash modern life dating channel. Uh, send a donation. Ray, dude, is so good, man. I'm, I'm sincerely, like, from the bottom of my heart, I'm so fucking happy to hear like you're doing good man that is really a relief so uh he signed off right now but it is a-okay and um let's go back to camera two camera two look at this we're, we're getting there don we're getting there but we just need the new studio we're gonna we're gonna be bossing up these streets baby um george r finally says keep educating and mentoring us man we need you i got on past since body language mastery thank you so much george r all right, let's go to A30. They're up next. A30. What's up? Yes, yeah, Brandon. Brandon, what's up? Brandon Lilly? Yes, sir. How are you, good? Dude, that's amazing. I'm pretty good. I mean, I guess. But uh, no, my question is um, so, you know, I, uh, I had to move back home. I'm working, I'm delivering pizzas now. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you and I talked to Josh as well, but y'all keep telling me to um, get focus on my money right now, get my yeah. finances up, right? Yeah. And my question is, you know, being being in the environment that I am now, right? Because I'm living with both of my parents. I'm back home. It's like four thousand people here. How do I stay focused and not get trapped in um, my own mind in regards to okay, this situation sucks. You know, I'm like not knowing that I'm not going to be here forever and trying to understand that this is only temporary and keeping my focus on money as opposed to, I don't know, dwelling because I can see myself slipping in and out of that from, from time to well, time. Well, are you looking for another job right now? Because pizza job is not good enough. You need to be looking for a good job while you have this job. Yeah, I'm looking for, I'm trying to get out of this. I'm, I'm trying to go back into sales. Yeah. Uh, but are you looking for jobs? Is that that's a yes or no question? So are you actively waking up and looking at job boards? I am not waking okay. up and so, sending out okay. resumes. And- so that needs to be part of your daily rep like routine right now, immediately like fucking from today. Okay. 
start optimizing your resume start looking for better jobs listen i used to be a pizza delivery driver there's no future in that job okay you that is a cash dump job like if you just need like when i was going to go to japan i needed a quick job that i can get that i could just make cash even if it's like 50 to 150 dollars a day i just wanted to pocket cha- uh, cash to take with me to japan and i and i was that i was a dishwasher and a pizza delivery driver so but i i also had another job and i was selling stuff and i had a lot of other incomes at the at the same time so but this being your main income absolutely no you should be absolutely looking for a new job something white collar you want to get something white collar doing like uh honestly a call center is a good job right because call centers pay anywhere between 14 to 15 dollars an hour and then you're just sitting in an air-conditioned room, and that way you can like study stuff on your break. Like you can bring books, you can listen to audio books. Like it's not such a physically demanding job. We have to like be, you know, so like moving around and shit. Um, but yeah, definitely yep. just coasting on a pizza job. Listen, Brandon, listen to me. Always be looking for a better job for the rest of your life. Always be looking for ways to make more better money. Always. It doesn't stop. Always look to how to make more money. You make ten thousand dollars a month. How the fuck am I gonna make a hundred thousand? You make a hundred thousand dollars a month. How am I gonna make a million? You make a million. How am I gonna make ten million? Okay, that's my philosophy. Okay, you just gotta keep pushing forward with getting your finances sorted out. So staying stagnant in this job is not a good idea at all. It's a waste. That's a bad way to waste time. So I know you didn't know that, but now I would seriously get on that. Okay. Will do. Good, good, good. And what are you learning to code in the meantime? No, no, no. I'm doing. I'm learning the digital marketing in the meantime. Learning marketing, copywriting, and um, things in regards to that that nature. Holler at CC Deville in the um, pandemic pickup chat. CC Space Deville, D E V I L L E. He is a copywriter. He can, uh, if you're down for that, hit him up. Maybe he can, maybe you can be his apprentice or something. CC Deville. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll check him out. Well, I'll shoot him a text. Okay. All righty. Good talking with you, buddy. We'll holler at you. All right. Peace out. All right, all right, all right, all right. Who is ready? Um, we're gonna do the okay. So this is what this is what today's episode is gonna be like. Okay. Um, I am going to with you in the chat. Okay, so you guys got to be interactive. I know my regulars are in the house, but what we're gonna do, and for you guys who are just watching or you watch on the replay, I'm gonna talk you through how you can do research on your own, so you can become an independent thinker and get raw number, raw data, so that you have these goal points, you know what I mean? So you need to know where you stand. So if you make $50,000 a year, you don't even know, and you don't even know where you stand on the income bracket, we're gonna talk about where you need to get to to be in the top 20% of the finances, okay? And especially for you young guys, you know, there's two types of audiences, really. There's, like, audiences that like, just want to get pussy, but I'm talking about, like, how to get, obviously how to get pussy, but also how to, like, just have a fucking awesome, free, like, financially free life while having sex with a bunch of girls that are totally down with you because, let me tell you something, it's awesome, okay? And ain't nobody taking this shit away from me. No, sir, re, Bob. Um, so... Let's just do the first one, right? Let's do. We, we kind of have uh, a theme going from yesterday, so let's go to uh, money, right? So let's do. Um, let's see, income percentile USA. Okay, let's see. Um, here we go. Let's pull this up. Okay, so th- what we're gonna do together? I'm, I'll be watching the chat if you guys want to throw something useful in there. But uh, average medium income, 1%, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to look for um, the information live together. So what is the top 1% household income? So that's what I would do. I would just shoot for that right away. So if we go to top 1%. 
Okay, so it looks like the top 1%, I think we reviewed this bar, yes, this uh, graph yesterday. Looks like it's above $475,000. So let's trace it back. So 75% is, uh, so the top 25% is $113,000 a year. Okay. Next one is top 10% is 184000 Okay. So, I would say probably top 20 is 100. Anyway, it's between 113 and 184, but it's probably closer to this because this is 25%. So, I would say it's probably like 100 and basically... I would say let's let's estimate it a little bit higher for you guys to push more. $130,000 a, a year. So if you can make $130,000 a year, now you're in the top 20%. And obviously if you make more and more and more, then obviously you're just bossing out the life, right? But $130,000 a year is not too, too hard to make. Um, let me give you an example. So then what you would do from there is you would do a uh, six figure salary jobs, right? Just see what you can do there. Okay, best six figure jobs, Let's see here. Actuary, that's a really good job. Those are basically like um, consultants to be, uh, not 100% precise, but basically like a consultants. Median salary, so right smack dab in the middle is $102,000 a year. Very comfortable, guys. Very comfortable. And see, geologists, you'll forget about it. That's going to take you forever. Uh, you have to go to school to be a doctor for eight, for probably up to, up to 12 years as an anesthesiologist because these residencies are extremely long because anesthesiologist is the doctor that puts you under when you go for a medical procedure. Uh, computer and information research scientist. There you go. That's pretty easy. You, you can do that. You can get that with a four-year degree right there. Um, 118. Dentist. 150 racks. Whew. Dentist is doable. Financial manager. 127. In internist. General. Advanced practical registered nurse. 113. Nurse is easy. That's a four-year degree. Uh, that's the doctor. No need. Petroleum engineer. Four-year degree. Like you know, it doesn't sound fun. Like oh, I'm gonna go be a petroleum engineer. But forty-year degree, okay. So let's look at this. Let's go. Let's let's deep dive, okay. This is how you're gonna plan your life out, guys. So I hope you're paying attention. Is this fire? Is this suck? One good, two bad. Does uh, this make sense? Anybody learning anything? Am I wasting my life? Am I just a fucking weirdo talking on the internet to myself? <laughs> all right, my self-esteem is repaired. I see all the ones coming in. Anyways. So, uh, what's that website called? Payscale, Payscore, or what is it called? When it shows all the pay, I think it's called Payscale.com, right? Pay, payscale.com. Is that what it's called? Salary comparisons. I think so. Okay, let's go by by job title. What was the one we looked? Petroleum engineer. Petroleum. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. So the median is right here, hundred grand. Okay. So even in the lower ten percent. So okay, let's just say you get out of university. So you go to university four years. This is a good. This is a, a worthy degree. Okay. Oh, here we go. Perfect. A petroleum engineer makes between 60 to 176. So let's say you're just there um, after school, four years, so now you're 22. You're making 62 Gs, right? And let's say it takes you four years. So now you're 26, but you're like, boom, smack dab in the middle. 26, you're almost in the top 20%. You're like in the top 30%, which is way better than not being there. And then plus if you have a game and you have muscles these are all increase the probability of you uh being selected by more women right especially when let's see this okay so now we do a double let's do a deep dive here median sal or let's do out let's do average no, no no let's do median median salary usa 
31 thousand dollars is that real that is sad jesus <laughs> uh you guys got to be bossing out bro i'm telling you you don't get your money right money's gonna come for you uh you're gonna have to pay it off one way or the other median salary is 31 g's okay and then average salary is okay court night okay 49 g's is the average salary per year okay average salaries women made it out just out of 44 g's men earn in median of 55 right and i guarantee you they're not fucking comparing the types of work they do they're just comparing the salaries at all that's all let me see this shit Median weekly earnings of the nation's 104th million for time wage. Salary workers, 100,000, yada, yada, yada. Women varied by white women earned as much as their male counterparts compared to 93% black women. Interesting. Um, but it doesn't say that they... Yeah, see, this is just comparing women... To men, not job, not the job choices they've made, which has has something to do with the individual. So, duh, of course they're shit talking over here, trying to be woke over on the balancedcareers.com. Thanks for nothing. Um, so let's just say average is fifty five. Okay, so average is fifty five. So when you're if you make fifty five, you're in the top fifty percent. Okay, now if you double that, you're at one ten, and then now you're at the top twenty five. Okay. So, yeah, I would say about 130 is what you need. So, petroleum engineer, to get to 130, even if it takes you, like, six years from graduation, now you're 28. And once your salary goes up in a certain field, like, especially petroleum engineering, like, your salary's not going to go down. So, that's why you got to aggressively work towards making yourself more money and uh, coming up. You see what I'm saying? Let me go back here. Let me look at the chat and see what you guys are up to. Again, don't forget, phone lines are open, 657-383-1318. Uh, Turbo Man on Skyline says, Computer Science Engineer pays $280,000 a year at Google. Well, I've been there for seven years now. Are you telling us you're making that much money? You better send a donation. Um, that's fantastic. But yeah, that's a four-year degree. So it's not that hard, guys. Okay, so, okay, let's do this, right? I like to do this one always, so let's go to my favorite job in the world, right? Tell you, you want to be a real man? Let's do this. Welding. Let's do welder. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, this is blocking it, eh? Gotta move this. There we go. All right. Um, per hour, 18, no, what is this? Let's check, 26 an hour is what? Calculator. All right, so you get 26 an hour, whoops, 26 times 40 equals that, times 4 equals that, times... 12 equals 49. So you're smack dab in the middle. As, as So even if you're like a broke dude, you're a little dork, whatever, you have no skills, you have no money, you could go learn welding and work, work your way up and at least get into the top 50%. And like I said, with you're having your body right and your game right, you have, a, you have a very good chance because a lot of guys have terrible game these days. So that's how you would get an advantage. Um, what's another job we should look at? Let me think of that. What's a good job you can get out? Well, you could become a consultant. All right. Mm. The consultant for like, uh, what would you, you know, the big four, like, uh, Ernest Young, Accenture, Deloitte. What is that type of a consultant called? Electrician? Can be five year degree at some universities. Okay. 
instrumentation electrician. Okay, let's try that. It's better not waste my time, a hairy butthole. With your with a name like that, I should be worried. Here we go. Instrumentation electrician. Uh, there's just electrician. Industrial. Let's just do electrician in general. Uh, can you not? Can you like? Can you please not? Oh, what are you doing? Are you forcing me to buy something? Oh my God. Good Lord. Uh, let's try something else. Four year degree. What about power line? Power line. Lineman, here we go. Journeyman lineman. I think it's a journeyman lineman, right? Let's just try lineman. So 27 an hour. Oh, this is super cool. Um, but yeah, you see, so that that right there. So basically, you see that little quick deep dive there. So 130,000. Now, I will tell you personally, you do not need to make $130,000 to be sexually successful. But if you can have it, then you're going to have a lot more of abundance, especially if your game. Remember, game is the number one X factor, okay? If you get your game tight, 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 you could be a little fat, you could be a little broke, but it's going to be a okay. A okay, no problemo. Not a problem in the world. Let's go to the main camera. Um, yeah. So, okay, it looks like we got a super chat. Let me see what's okay. Uh, thank you so much to KG for the ten dollar super chat. It's late. Where, where's my Where's my alert? What's going on here? If you guys there don't donate a hundred dollars right now. You're a beta male. You're a cuck. You're blue pill for life. You better send me a thousand dollars in donation right now. <laughs> and that's thank you so much. He says, "Hey, MLD, I was thinking about starting helicopter school. What do you think about that, good or bad? Hey, let's find out right now. How about that?" Uh, let's do helicopter pilot. Let's go helicopter pilot. Sorry, helicopter pilot salary. Right. This is how you re this is how you fix your life here, guys. Um. Oh, there's a glass door. Is what I was thinking about. See, this is way better. I like this this chart of distribution. This is where it's at. Okay. So there you go. Uh, average is about eight G's. So Kevin, how long would it, uh eighty G's? Kevin, how long would it take you to uh, finish the school? Do you know about that? Let me know. Um, but yeah, man, and and our, and another thing is this too: you got to check if jobs are in demand. Because look, guys, if you're not like like I've always been a hardworking guy, duh. And uh, so if you're not like working hard to make your life awesome while womanizing, I'm telling you, you're actually doing a disservice to your life. Like if you want to be high, you want a little bit like this fucking Chad life that I'm doing, you got to work hard and you got to have your um, your money right to finance this situation here, bro. Because um, I'm telling you, it, it is definitely is definitely important, man. I have seen the Playboy lifestyle eat up some people, bro eat them up they don't get their money right next thing you know they're 45 they just have no fucking talent they have no skills and they're in a tough spot they have to ride uber and all that shit you don't want that uh one dude one year okay so kevin says helicopter pilot one year and dude talk about future dates for chicks bro if you're a helicopter pilot you're like yeah come on babe let's go take a helicopter i'll take a picture of you fucking ten thousand feet up in the air Put that on your Instagram, okay? Um, unbelievable. You guys don't donate Thank you so much. right now. Somebody you're a donated. beta male. You're a cuck. Greg. You're a blue pill for life. You better send me a thousand dollars in donation right now. Thank you so <laughs> much. Uh, he donated and said, "Simping for MLD, five dollars super chat." Thank you so much. Click on the link right there, streamlabs.com forward slash Modern Life Dating Channel, and then don't forget to sign up for the Patreon. August 9th, it is going down. All those 20 spots will be sold out. You will see. You will see. You will be. Uh, you'll witness. Then we're calling in. 657 um, 383 Oh, is this? Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. So.
Kevin, now are there jobs available currently? That's the big thing. Go to the army to become a helicopter pilot? No. Body language is shrink gun. I thought about that the other day and I've thought about doing an advertisement with me having a shrink gun. Who are you and why are you living in my head? No, not Byakugan. Come on now. No, 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 no. It's shrink gun. Okay, it's the Mangeko shrink gun. Um, we're out here seeing everything, bro. Uchiha squad. Itachi was a G. This is a good... Th Kevin, that's a good idea, man. Helicopter, one year. Even if you come out and you're a bum, you're still one year to go from not making 62 to making that. You're, then you're so, you're be, you uh, accepted the truth. The top 50%. Uh, Who is that? Oh, Christian McNally just subscribed. What's up? Thank you so much. Um, oh, it's covering my head here, huh? It's all good. This is good. The camera's looking good. Lighting's looking good. Um, yeah, but guys, this is this is exactly how I sat down and figured out what was going to happen with me in my life and everything I wanted to do, right? So let's go back here, right? Look at this. This is a, this is a boss-ass job right here. Marketing director. Anything marketing in corporate America is good work. Oh, Lord, can you not just stop? Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on, guys. They're making me do this shit. Oh, my God. Go to hell. Just why are you making me do this in the middle of the show? Hold on. Tokyo is where I live. Okay. Oh my fucking god. I don't I don't I don't want to fill this out. Let's just go. I don't have work experience. My education is bachelor's. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. Marketing director. There you go. And let's do... Okay, here, I'll go back to this. So now we're searching. Marketing director. Let's do marketing director. What are we doing? Not shit hole. Okay, let's go to... All right, let's, let's, let's play big. Let's go to Dallas. Dallas, Texas. Okay. No thanks. No thanks. All right, all right, all right. Okay, fuck off. All right, marketing director. Look. Low end, 59 like your shit company high-end 140 right but if you're a marketing director and then you learn how to make your own product and then you that's when you start making some serious cash okay what's another four-year degree oh let's do accountant right four-year degree accountant accountants are always needed okay so you're coming out 38 g's oh uh, let's do let's say you go to a mid-sized company uh, let's say okay let's see what okay so let's start here zero to one you get 44. 1 to 3, you get 45. 46, you get 49. 7 to 9, you get 52. 10 to 14, you get 51. So the, honestly, I think these numbers are not as good. I I can aggressively uh, negotiate. I mean, if you, if you sit down and pee, you know, and you're a fucking wimp, uh, then... Yeah, this will happen to you. But if you're aggressive with it, you can make some happen. So yeah, within coming out of school, you can make at least thirty, forty thousand dollars as an accountant, and then move up and do a lot more stuff. <laughs> Looking like a top three. I am. I'm bossing these streets up, Scott. Scott's in the house. Scott, people are telling you to call in. They're like, "Where is Scott? Scott needs to call in." <laughs> um. I got my degree so I can be an airline pilot, but I'm thinking helicopter because they are essential. There are only 15,000 helicopter pilots in the U.S. Dude, then you know what to do. If you if you got the balls to do it, go do it. Um, how much do, how much does digital pimp make? A lot. Uh, accounting's for beta males. Steven accounting. That's a far yeah, and I'm in a low income area. Yeah, yeah. Call in Scott. Do what you gotta do. FinTech gets paid bank too. I heard. 
finance computer science oh yeah let's go back up uh starting off it's minimum 52k with bachelors there you go there you go anthony vasquez welcome back you know what's good um harry zigo says i know cpas and nyc starting at 75 80 yeah exactly two to three hours you can yeah that's what i'm saying I, th I, f I felt like that that was a little off but um even if you go to cities like miami man miami's pretty co cheap cost of living but it's a good place to live um you know beach always summer I, I like orlando though orlando's like a little uncool but at least it's a good place to live um so anyways that's how you get in top 20 percent it is fucking um 130,000, okay? So let's put that. Let's put the money. Okay, really? So it's 130,000 to be in the top 20%, right? Okay. 130,000. Okay. So you have from 18 to like you really want to boss out by the time at least you're 35 so you have 17 years to get to 130,000 and then sustain it but if you set something up that can grow then you can easily make this especially if like you know whatever financial system you have set up it keeps growing and growing and growing you know what I'm saying so 17 years that's not too hard and then you just boss out from 35 until death while this money just keeps on growing to get into the, this is for the this is for the 20 percent okay very very doable okay very very doable very doable by 30 i would say as well okay let me see scott calling in he is calling in let's get him on Scott, Scott dude, hotline. What is up, baby? What's up, you fucking sexy motherfucker? Oh, I'm. I listen. We're we're gonna have a we're gonna have a raunchy FaceTime call after the show. I got some I got some dirty details mm -hmm. for you. That's what I fucking like to hear. Listen, listen. I got a month worth. Called me, John called me a beta male yesterday. I did. I did. Soft, Scott. You sound like you get a little soft. <laughs> You sound like you are getting a little soft. I think you had your butthole licked a little too many times. Now you're you're drowning in butthole licking pre uh, pleasure. I just think the problem is I never accounted for the success. Like, so when I started in December, I never I never thought, oh, when I when I get all the success, what what is my mindset going to be? I was just like, I just want to do things. I want to get shit done. I'm going to take super massive action. And now it's just like all these stupid whores. I hate every one of them. And I'm, and I'm just like sitting back and I'm like, this part of my life's figured out. So I have to evolve past that. And now it's, it's going to the money thing. It has to go, it has to go to the money thing. I, mm -hmm. Or I'll just be beta for life. I'm listening. Um, no, I think it's solid. I think it's a good idea. Yeah, listen, pussy makes you weak when you get a lot. Of, <coughs> excuse me, when you're uh, when you're sleeping with a lot of girls and then having a lot of sex, you know, you're like, ah, I don't want to go to the gym. Yeah, I'll eat that pizza. Yeah, you know, what are you gonna go in the kitchen and cut me up some fruit? Like, you know, whatever. Let's do this. Um, God, what a time to be alive, man. It's good. It's hot dude problems. It's hot dude problems. It is hot dude problems. That's the one downside of getting this sorted out. So you gotta you gotta be on it though. You know what I mean, Scotty baby? Well, I'm stronger than I've ever been in my whole life. Good. I'm 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 richer technically than I've ever been in my whole life. Good. And I'm sex I'm sexier than all hell. Good. And I'm five foot seven. Killing it. I'm five foot seven. I'm a I'm a dwarf. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a freaking oh, dwarf. Oh, that's funny. And these stupid horse. And for some reason, I got unlucky. And I'm only attracted to girls that are my height or taller in general. Hmm. Like for some reason, my brain is wired to because I don't want to have a dwarf child. I think. Yeah. So definitely. my brain is like wired. 
to like go for girls that are my height or taller. Mm-hmm. And guess what? It's zero problem. Zero, zero problem. Both the girls I'm talking to right now. Yeah. It's just not an issue, guys. All the all the um, bullshit you tell yourself, all the uh, bullshit the media wants to feed you about uh, keeping you down. All your shorts, you're gonna be insecure your whole fucking life. Be a beta fucking male. Yeah. Most people are beta males, but I'm telling you, there's guys that are six foot two, and I walk right up to them, and my big dick energy makes them fucking four foot tall <laughs> because they can never bring the energy to the table. They could never bring the energy to the table that I have. I love it. Because I truthfully think I'm I'm fucking the biggest alpha male in every room I walk in. You are. I really do think that. And I'm not saying like it's like I'm it's not like oh I'm stronger than you and I'll punch you in the face. Would it's you, just like which you dude, should do I am happy. I am successful. I am gonna make more money. I am gonna have more sex. I am going to I'll fuck your girlfriend and then I'll leave her and then she'll come back to you. Like like this is this is how I feel when I walk into a room. Because Jonathan unlocked a side of me. That's right. Sell me good. Sell me good. I, I, would, <laughs> I would have never. I'll se- I always sell Jonathan good. If I know. Think, like, I have no reason to sell Jonathan good other than the fact that it's good. Like, mm-hmm. he's, there's no, like, like, when I started calling in and selling Jonathan, we didn't even know each other, really. I was just listening to, like, and I was like, this dude saved my life for like five years. I would have been struggling in and out with all this stuff. And now I can just get back to my business, you know, get back to work. Mm-hmm. I had a big revelation yesterday. I don't, I don't want to trade time for money anymore. I mean, I, I trade time for like doctor money right now, which is a little bit, mm-hmm. you know, it's like I make a lot of money, mm-hmm. but I don't want to do the fucking work. Yeah. So I don't want to do the fucking hands-on work is what I mean. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's like, I don't want to fucking do it in this. And I just want to, I just want to fucking, uh, yeah. I just want to win. Yeah. You're, you have some good hot dude problems. Yeah, that's the hot dude problems. I want to go to hot dude Japan, fucking hot dude con Japan. That's all I want. <laughs> it's going to happen, bro. We're not going to be locked down in this Corona bullshit forever. We are not. You really think that you'll have hot dude Japan? Dude, listen, I have a hot, I'm having hot dude island. I've just made like a million dollars off of Bitcoin. I'm so fucking rich and handsome. It's just unfair. Um, <laughs> women. Oh my god. Yeah, Don just telling me to sell my Bitcoin yesterday, but I'm just too like, I just don't even fuck with I it. I took my payout. It. Listen, I took my payout yesterday. I'm just like long game, long game. Oh yes, it is fire, bro. It is super, super fire. Um, Scott, I got another caller, so it's good. It's always good to hear from you, but let's let bring the other caller on, yeah? All right, guys, don't be fucking beta males. I'll John, call you after the show. What a fucking pleasure. All right, buddy, peace out. What a fucking pleasure. Peace. Oh, where's it? Huh? What's going on here? Why is my, my stream deck stop working? Viewed. Let's go kind of here. Though the click works. What's going on? Why is it not working? Oh well. Uh, let's think. Bring seven five four on. Seven five four. What's up? Yo yo. It's Charles. What's good, man? It's Tucker. What's good? How you doing? I'm good, man. Um, I kind of got like a little rant. I just want to hear. I want to hear your feedback real quick, man. We're talking about top twenty percent. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, I feel like you're going too easy right now, bro. Like we got to go hard with this shit. Like if, if we don't make top one percent a necessity, like this shit's not gonna happen. We can't lollygag with this shit. Like for instance, I was talking to um this guy I know. I mean, we kind of grew up together. Mm-hmm. And I was like, bro, we're living in this apartment right now. I'm down to move into a fucking trailer. Cut that shit in half, $400 a month, right? He's like, how are we going to get pussy out here? I'm like, I'll get pussy regardless. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But are you willing to sacrifice the, um, temp- are you willing to take a temporary loss in social esteem in order to get to where you want to? I'm not trying to save money just to save money and look at it. I'm trying to save money for my next investment. When that next opportunity comes, 
motherfuckers gotta be ready. Mm-hmm. Um, and this yeah. is pussy and out. So I had to like fucking cut the fucker off. Cause bro, if you're not willing to like, it sounds crazy, but like, bro, like it's either it's literally get rich or die trying. That's where I'm at with the shit. And if you're not with that shit, it's not gonna happen for you, bro. This is America. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, my business is growing, man. Shit's looking lit. Listen, and, um, you listen to me. Listen to me. Stop what, what? Stop trying to drag up these losers with you, bro. You're going to, like, that guy just sounds like a bum. So, look, you're tenacious, and I know you, and, like, um, you know, I know what you're doing. Dude, you're going to be a millionaire for sure. Just keep going. Keep just, just keep being yourself, but, like, just know it's just you. It's just you on this ride. So, um, just get super rich, and then once it happens, you know, you'll be like, ah. But you're, you're, what, are you 24 now? Not even 25 yet, are you? Yeah, 24. When you turn 25? October. Yeah, I say by 28, you should be making six figs on the reg. That's late, too. That's you showing up late. Bro, with, 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 with the store, with the store, I'm already, I'm halfway touching it with this truck. Cause mind you, it's still a truck, that's 80. Mm-hmm. My store's pulling about 7K this month. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Mind the fucking, one second. Thank you, man. Hello, sign? Oh shit, I'm live on here. But yeah, my story is doing like, it's gonna be pulling 10K soon. Okay. I'm gonna open another one and pour some gasoline on the shit, but it's 100K soon, man. 100K before 26, easy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, uh, you know, I think, um, I think, yeah, you're just. Uh, Check out these guns, they're full force. Don't give me money. You there? Sorry about that. Okay. No, I, I think you're on the path. Just keep it going. Keep it going. For sure. Keep it Definitely, going. Man. Shout out to our dude Army. You said you had a Patreon going now? Since when? Uh, How did like I miss this? one week ago. So basically, what it is. It's a hundred dollars a month. It's called Hot Dude Elite. It's only for a hundred people, but it's for two webinars a month that are two hours each, and we focus on money and, and women basically. Those are the big things. Oh, you already know I'm in that bitch. Yeah, I'll put the link in the chat. Just sign up. I mean, um, but listen, yeah, but listen, yeah, listen, yeah. listen, regardless, yeah, regardless, yeah, regardless, even if you don't sign up, I don't care. But look, you are, you are going to make it, Charles. You are a winner. Okay. I know exactly who you are. I've sized people up for a living. Listen, when you start winning, you got to come back like Scott and tell everybody <laughs> how I helped you. That's all I, that's all I request in, in, uh, in Bro, return. Bro, a thousand, a thousand percent, <laughs> a thousand percent. I'm not only in the comments, but just know I'm always listening, man. Just know I'm always listening. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, you have what it takes for sure, and you're gonna do it. Um, like I said, the tenacity reminds me of myself a little bit, so uh, it's good. It's really, really good, buddy. I think I got another caller, so I'm gonna take them. Are you cool? No doubt. I'm cool, man. I appreciate you, bro. Peace. Uh, all right, buddy. Take care of yourself. Peace out. Camera one's kind of looking. Camera one looks crisp, but I feel like camera two has has the artistic angle. Here we go. Man, is it gonna work now? What is going on with this uh, contraption here? If I do say so myself, sir. Is this button stuck? Is that what it is? None of the buttons work. What is this all about? This is some bullshit. Elgato, get it together. Um, oh, let's take 330. Uh, I hate what stuff breaks. God, 330, what's up? Hello, Jonathan. How's it going? Hey, is this Demetrio? No, no, this is uh, Jacob. Oh, what's up? What's up? So, I have a question about um, IG highlights. Okay, let's go. Are you ready? Are we ready for so, some fire-ass IG game? My IG game is getting pretty good, I must say. Let's go. Yeah, no, I, I see your highlights. They're fire. So, for highlights, obviously vacations are a go. What else? Do you recommend putting up on there? Anything that shows high value. Anything. So, like, what about, I don't know, hobbies? Like, I play baseball, so Mm -hmm. would pictures of me, you know, playing baseball be good for highlights? Uh, Picture, no video, yeah. If you get a video of you smacking a home run, you're going to be like, oh, man. That's going to be DHV City. Okay, so what? So just videos, correct? You said videos. Yeah. 
Okay, what about like older videos? So maybe like a year or two ago, like put the date, or maybe not even put the date. What you but, just said. Would you recommend putting like videos that are like a little bit older? Not as recent, but a little bit older just to, Jesus you know, get Christ. it going. Uh hold on, my, my stream deck just had a fucking heart attack. Um older videos, uh it look they just has to look good. Can you see my screen right now? Uh no, I not right now. I can watch it on the replay. Alright, well look, dude, you gotta look, have you looked at the hot dude life Instagram? Yeah, I'm following you. Okay. I I message you sometimes when you got fired. Okay. Post. So yeah, you gotta like, you gotta like, like I said, you gotta build a library of high quality photos, and then you also need to, um, the highlights are good stuff. Like the highlights are simple stuff, man. Like nothing too crazy. But DHV, like you know, technically one day this will be older because my puppy's young here. But well, here we go. Look. <laughs> See, there's a. I just played a, a clip right there of my little puppy and me with some music, and uh, it's kind of timeless because that puppy will always be cute. So, you got to think about it. But, um, have you had a, a professional photo shoot yet? Um, I mean, when I was from my senior pictures when I was in high school, but not in a while. How old are you now? I'm 19. Okay. Okay. So you're getting there. Good, good, good. Good yeah. work. So yeah, man. Um, I think, what was your original question? It was IG highlights. Right. So uh, posting older stuff. Right. Um, Cause I have a couple of videos of me like catching and hitting that are like, I don't know, from last year. But they're like pretty, you know, good videos that would definitely go up that are deserving of, you know, IG highlights. Mm -hmm. You'll need to just send it to me on Hot Dude Life Instagram or um, Instagram okay. on, on the Modern Life Dating Instagram, one of the two. And I'll be able to help you out, all right? Okay. That's the best way, I think. All right. I'm kind of disappointed you don't remember. I'm kind of disappointed you don't even remember me. I'm literally in body language mastery. Who are you again? <laughs> Who are you again? Uh, Jake Takes, that helps. Oh, but you said Jacob. You didn't say Jake yeah. Take. Yeah, well, you know. No, I know who you are. I know exactly who you are. Okay, 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 okay. Um, yeah, man, definitely. Um, yeah, you know, you're, you're going to be okay. Keep keep doing what you're doing. But yeah, for your, yeah. In, your in your situation, then, then yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do, yeah, show them to me. Just hit me up on on. That's the best way. I have to see it. All right, it's, hit me up. I got you. Now I know who you are. Okay. I, I definitely got you. I got you. All right, buddy. Good to hear from you, Jake. Good, good, okay. good to see you. See, uh, sticking it through. Yeah, I have another qu quick question. Mm -hmm. So when like gaming like slightly older women. So like I'm 19, and you know some of these hotties are 20, 21, 22. So like <laughs> slightly older. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, but just do it, you know, just Bro, keep the, with it, it doesn't really matter, you know, say, Dude, the average 22-year-old... have to, like, change it up? Like, Listen, like, Jacob, the average 22-year-old girl doesn't know if she's fucking coming or going these days. Okay? You're good to go. Just, just follow through with it and you'll be okay. You, all right. All right. You're gonna be A-OK, -okay, buddy. Don't want to keep your head right, up. Thanks. All right, yeah, no, uh, Oh shit! All right, but see you later, Jacob. Sorry. Um, wow. Well, the uh, the show kind of took a little turn there with the calls, but I I, I like the calls. Are you guys liking the calls? Uh, let me see. Yeah. So my stream deck just seized up, and then everything that I pressed uh, played all at once, so it spazzed out big time. Um, so yeah. I find your lack of faith disturbing. I'm just disappointed at the moment right now. We've got this guy, Hessian MGTOW, <laughs> is in the chat. He says, the self-staging and all the show-offs of that self-proclaimed hot dude host is just creepy. 
hey, you're watching me, and I know you're probably lonely, and you probably want to get some girls. Listen, you could just join the rest of the people who end up calling up the show and be like, you know, MLD, I used to hate you. And then I bought Body Language Mastery. <laughs> and you changed my life. So thank you. You're all right. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So, um, Taj, would you like to do the honors of sending uh, Hashin Mingtao straight to hell and do it with the Death Note theme? Here, just get rid of him. Oh, Hashin Mingtao. It's game over for you, buddy. Your name was written in Death Note. Oh, we got somebody calling on the lines, all right? 737. Okay, let's bring them on. All right, here we go. Uh, 737, you're on the air. What's up? Hey, John. This is Ian from Austin. Hey, buddy. What's up, buddy? How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Good, man. Good, man. What's going on? So I just thought I'd call in today with something that's really helped me internalize game, mm. like feel it on a more visceral level mm -hmm. instead of just having all these abstract thoughts in my head. Oh, okay. And that's honestly no fap. I think it might be the anti MGTOW pill because after four or five days of that, shit, you're under 25, your testosterone level is going to shoot up there, you'll be horny as shit. And mm -hmm. It's almost like the insecurities just fade away because of the level of desire is there. Man, this is wild. Um, so, <laughs> like, I'm looking at the yeah, just looking at these guys that are just coming around. Um, it, it blows my mind how they just they just. What are you doing? Like, <laughs> no wonder you're miserable. You're focused on hating me instead of fixing your life. Um, so what was your question there, buddy? I got sidetracked by that. Oh, just, have you ever tried? Have you ever tried any periods of semen retention? And oh, did yeah. you notice anything different? Oh, I'm way more. I'm way more centered. I'm way more dedicated, disciplined. For sure. For sure. You're a thousand percent correct. I don't. I don't masturbate. Um, like, okay. For, I. I. Here's my thoughts on masturbation. Okay. If you're a guy and you're trying to figure out your sex life and getting hoes on the reg, like I get girls on the reg, guys. It's easy for me. It's a fucking, it's a cakewalk, okay? Um, so, when I'm, yeah. so, but the, the point I'm trying to make is that, like, if you can't get girls, then you, you don't, you have to earn the right to masturbate, in my opinion, okay? Like, I rub, I could rub one out once in a while just to clear my head, because I know I'm a pimp. I got some fucking, you know, I got swagger. I'm, I'm not masturbating out of desperation. I'm just like, there's something I just need to clear my head, you know? And uh, sometimes you wake up in the morning, you have a good gym session, you're just raging, erection, you're like, ah! You know, so you gotta let it go. I've done it. I've, I've woken up, racked yeah. one out, and then passed out for another three hours, slept deep as a motherfucker. I know some of you nasty motherfuckers out there have done that too. I'm not <laughs> the only one, okay? Um, <laughs> but... But yeah, but when you retain your semen, we were talking about at the, at the beginning of the show with Scott, like when you're fucking a lot and having a lot of sex, like these hoes drain you, bro. Like they, they pull your life essence out of you if you do not, um, you know, take a moment to, to step back and like, you know, just get away from them and recharge as a man. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. No. <sighs> Uh, I'm reading the comments in the chat. It's so funny. Uh, <laughs> Boner Jam <laughs> said bye. <laughs> Big tail still. Oh, he's gone. The MGTOW guy's gone. Uh, but yeah, you do gotta, you think that the uh, semen retention nofap thing could be a complete solution for MGTOW? Um, it seems to me these people are living in such a short time frame window. They're only living for the next two weeks or so. They don't realize that they're shooting themselves in the dick every single day. I, you know, I don't really know too much about. I just think that they have a very defeatist mindset. That's my biggest thing. My their defeatist mindset and their flawed perception of uh, male and female relationships in like a in regards to sexuality. 
You know what I mean? I think they have a really, I think they have a really flawed perception of what the truth is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like they refuse to think past that or find a different perspective. Well, you know, it's easy when you when you want to be a victim. You know, you you know you're gonna do your best to to defend your point. So I don't care. If, like honestly. I, all my hard work in life, not only is it paying off right now, it's compounding. So I'm just like exponentially winning at the moment. So I really don't even care about like these dorks. <laughs> I'm just like the, I'm like the opposite side of the coin. Like I tell people like make, you know, work hard, work on yourself, get better at life. And then you're going to, you're going to boss the fuck out. You're going to be, you do, you'll have, you'll have endless amounts of money and women. Like literally those will be, they, they will no longer be a worry in your life when you're like can i get some women or can i get some money like no you'll have peace of mind you'll know how to do it but you know not everybody wants to do the work but hey that's more for me i'm i'm looking you there's a reason i'm so fucking happy and <laughs> chipper all the time it's because i don't have to worry about money or women i have <laughs> abundance of both so i told you so that's all and I which say. just bleeds into you, you don't have to worry about what you say you don't have to worry about how you look or I'm a great it's crazy guy. Just dude on the ground level right now. The way people are acting. Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's unreal. It is unreal for sure. So, all right, buddy. I'm Anyways, you know. thanks. Thanks for calling in, today, buddy. We'll chat next time. Yeah. Peace. Definitely. <laughs> Peace out, a town. So we did money. So 130 to get into the top 20 percent. That's achievable in your life, okay? Let's say you do, let's say you do like fifty, uh, eighty thousand dollars a year at your job, right? You would like your accountant for four years or something, and then you have like an Airbnb because you're an accountant, so you you got your credit should be right, you got your money right, you get a uh, Airbnb, you have your team to manage the unit, and it makes you fifty thousand dollars a year. So now you're eighty plus fifty, boom, right? And then you can get another Airbnb, and then another, another manage three or four if you want to go full time you can do that that's just another example of way to make money like off rip legit like two years max you could be doing like 10k bro I, dude if i if i got like deported to america and i had to start all over for some reason i could easily start up a network of airbnbs and get that shit going asap no pro blame mo nada nada bro Okay, so you want to be financially resilient like that. So you should be learning how to be a, a man who is competent with money because money is just a tool. Okay, 130, very, 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 very possible. Very possible. Okay. So let's talk about, let's talk about uh, body weight right so body weight bell curve usa i'm trying to think how we can determine this let me see go here calculator women is, what is this this looks like it's a decent chart fifth percentile no what is this here Uh, underweight, normal, BMI, 18 is, what is it, i.e. 18.5 BMI, underweight, normal, overweight, 25. Hmm. This is too difficult for me to read. Let's see. This is height. Okay, height is important. I was going to do that as well. So height's over here. So I ran the numbers. Looks like, so if you're 5 foot 11 and a half, you're basically in the top... 20% of height for males. So all the six feet crybabies is wrong, right? Yeah, look at this. Five foot 11. So I bet you, even if I could run this down, 5.10.5. Let's see what that does. That is not in there. Okay, so let's do it. So I think it's five foot 11 is minimum. 5.11. Yeah, so five foot 11. If you're five foot 11, you're in the top 20% of height. So even if you're five foot seven, right? You could put on some boots or something that give you like three, four inches. Boom. Now you're top 20%. You're out there 
Bossing up the streets. Am I wrong? Am I wrong or am I right? Reading the chat here. I'm telling you. Five foot eleven. Okay, so let's go here. Oh, uh, then let's just change. Is that an undo button? Perfect. Okay, let's do height. So height is five foot eleven. Okay. Now you're in the twenty percent there. See this? So you have the money. It's 130. You're going to get that by 35. 5 foot 11. Okay. This is not big of a deal. Guys, I'm 5 foot 9 and a half, 5 foot 10. Okay. So I claim 5 foot 10 because this is my life. I do what I want. Um, but anyways, I'm 5 foot 10, so I'm not even top 20%. Woe is me. What will I do? I, I, for I will be internally sexless. No, but my game is just like through the motherfucking roof. Okay. Let's go to body weight. We got to figure out the body weight. Is there any of my bodybuilder pe peoples in the house helping me? How can I find like a weight distribution? Body weight distribution. Body weight bell curve US. Weight percentile calculator. Oh, okay. Jesus, that is huge. So, 5% of women in America weigh about 109. So, looks like the top 20% is between... For men, yeah, it looks like 158 to... Right around here is the top 20%. But, however, this is this is like super skinny, 135. this has got to be a better way to calculate this. Let's see. Is height in the U.S. worldwide? Let me see. I don't get how the high problem. There are plenty of small women. Yeah, exactly. Weight doesn't tell you enough alone. That coffee looks fantastic. Um, I think there's something else we have to do. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I think we can do USA. Obesity rate. Let's see that. <clears throat> Cause this is your real convert this is your real fucking uh competition here. More than four in ten Americans are now obese. O M G God in heaven. I mean, here, let me think. What should we do if we want to lose weight? Huh. Let's see. I'm an American. And 24-7, 365. What the fuck is on every goddamn commercial everywhere? It's food. And that is only, like, food. But it's food that's terrible for you. So... What are we gonna do to stop being such a fat fuck? Huh. Let me think. Alright, time's up. Uh, let me see. What is... Shut your fucking mouth and stop eating so much goddamn trash for 600, Alex. How does that sound? Just stop fucking eating so much. Okay? I'm a big, I'm a big advocate of fasting. Because it just chops time out of your day where you're just like, no food is allowed, okay? Lately, I have not been eating breakfast. I've been waking up. I've been drinking black coffee, 
and bossing these streets out here. Okay? Eating good feels good. Yes, it does. Uh, Rashid says, cut soda, cut fast food, walk more, less TV. I don't even own a TV, okay? Woke flex on you. How dare you, Rashid? Uh, ask for the kids' menu when you eat out. How about this? Don't eat out. What, did you do? what are you guys doing eating out? I only eat out like once in a while. That's it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <sighs> Look at this. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Save me, Jesus. Good Lord. And obesity rate in 2017 and 2018 was 42.4. Yikes. Severe obesity was 9.2%. That's almost 1 in 10 Americans. With more women than men falling into the... More women are severely obese in America. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Ugh. Gotta get that out of here. Oh man. And I guarantee you those severely obese women, they all hate Donald Trump. <laughs> Somehow Donald Trump has forced them to eat, cook everything in Crisco. You are a piece of you know, you are a real piece of work if you got Crisco in your house and you're cooking with that. If you got Crisco in your house, you better throw that shit away right now, boys. Come on. Unbelievable. So basically, just don't be obese or overweight. I think like body fat distribution, body fat distribution by age, aging body shapes. Let me see. Aging shapes, bodies. The amount of body fat goes up steadily after age 30. Older people may have almost one third more fat compared to when they were younger. Fat tissue builds up towards the center of the body, including around the internal organs. However, the layer of fat under the skin gets smaller. Okay. So just don't get fat, basically. That's really what that's what a low bar. Just don't get fat. Just don't get fat. Just go to the gym. Go to the gym four times, five times a week. I didn't go to the gym today. I had to go do some stuff, and I'm so disappointed. I'll be honest with you. I might go after this uh, broadcast. <clears throat> so then, yeah, for the other, there we go right here. Let's make this one blue. Don't. Be fat. And if at least you're going to be fat, be like fat built. Okay? Don't be fat. Stop it. No, no, no. And if you gained the weight, don't lose confidence in yourself. If you gained it, you can lose it. Okay? That's the truth right there. Let's go to camera two, shall we? That's it right there. That's all you gotta do. Should go back and let's okay, what one hundred thirty thousand dollars a year within seventeen years by the time you're thirty five, right? Very doable. Five foot eleven, even if you're five foot seven, you can put on some shoes and get some height, at least three inches, two inches, maybe four if you get lucky. E five eleven, boom. Don't be fat. Is that's it? That's it. That's all you gotta do. So listen, guys, that's going to do it for us today. I love you all. Uh, tomorrow, Tokyo Crypto Show, Operation Green Rolex. This is Black Rolly. Matches the robe, okay? Uh, we got an update for you tomorrow. You're going to see some boss-ass shit. I hope you found value of this episode. Uh, leave a comment. Holler at your boy. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, don't forget, the Patreon is uh, people are signing up. Spots are running out. Less than 20 spots uh, very soon, so... Until then, I'll see you tomorrow, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, here for Tokyo Crypto Show with me and Charlie from CultivateCrypto.com.